Hey everybody, I'm Chris, and welcome to the latest Community Question of the Week for September 16th, 2009. Let's get started with the Feature Podcast of the Week, shall we? Starting off, we have Twee Game, episode number 41, but Jim was different, and I remember that in 1980s cartoon, um, pretty bad, you know, so uh, <laughs> let's just move on. Next, we have Alex's unboxing of Scribble Knots and some stuff about Need for Speed Shift. After that, we have Megas Discussion Gaming Screwovers. After that, we have the Pixel Polygon Protection Group number 21, the Child Molester Simulator, and uh, that's kind of freaky. I sure as hell hope they don't have anything like that. But, and last, we have the Review Club, episode number 40, Batman Arkham Asylum, which is an awesome game. If you don't have it, you should go out and get it. Alright, let's move on to uh, last week's community question. If you remember, actually this was a three-parter. First part, what creature, monster, or villain from a game, comic book, or movie wouldn't you want to be trapped in a room with? Part two, what weapon or special move would you use to defend yourself? Alright, and uh, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to get to any responses for part two because... This last part, the latest part, is uh, going to be a bit long trying to explain it. And this week's well, community question. <laughs> Choose your fate. Fate's being. Flip a quarter coin or whatever you have. If you don't have one, just choose heads or tails. If you choose heads, your, tr your fate is, you charge in, the, the enemy dodges, but your awesome speed and flurry of attacks catches him off guard as you land the killing blow. If it wasn't for your flatulence giving you a quick burst of speed, and the fact that your enemy fell over in laughter, you'd be dead. Tails. You chose tails. Your fate. As you woke up strapped down to a table, your enemy finishes sharpening his tools of torture. Or tools to torture you with. Your fear turns to nervous nervousness as your flatulence kicks in. Your gas forms a green mist that fills the room until there is no more oxygen to breathe. Your enemy falls over and <laughs> falls over from the putrid stench coming from your bowels. Unfortunately, the cigar they were smoking creates a bluish flame that burns everything it touches, you included. Alright, that's first part. Second part. Roll a die if you have one. That's, uh, you know, two dice. You don't have two. You only need one, so. Roll it if you have it. If you don't, choose a number one through six. Choose it now. Or just roll it, you know, before it See what your fate is. Fate number one. You and your enemy run towards each other on a collision course of destruction. Your piercing yells frighten your enemy into a state of paralysis. You don't see the book on the floor as you trip over it and, <laughs> and fly through the air head first. Your coconuts collide and the speed and size of your head crushes your enemy's skull. That's fate number one. Number two, you move in quickly, catching your enemy off guard. The overwhelming barrage of attacks weakens your enemy as you land the killing blow. They never stood a chance. Fate number three, the moment you blinked, you felt a slight sting in your neck. You can't shake the feeling that something's wrong. As you open your eyes, you see what looks like your body falling over and blood spraying from your neck. Damn, that was fast. Fate 4. Your enemy attacks, catching you off guard. You recover, turning the tide of battle and gaining the advantage. You strike, dodge, and parry each other's attacks with precision, precision and ease. After 15 minutes of this, you notice your opponent is doing the same. The battle rages for hours and spills out of the room you're in onto the streets. 
You and your enemy's attacks are powerful and very destructive to the environment. If this keeps going, nothing and no one will survive. You need to gain the advantage or this battle will rage for eternity. That's number four. Number five. You move in with lightning speed and bombard your enemy with the flurry of brutal attacks. You manage to catch him off guard, but right as you're about to land the killing blow, your enemy counters your attack and lands the five-fingered Buddha palm in the center of your chest. Your heart explodes and your eyes pop out of your skull. As your lifeless body falls to the floor, your enemy looks and he realizes there's a dagger sticking out of his chest. It pierced his heart, and he didn't even notice. Was he fast, or were you? Number six. Your battle has raged for far too long, and it will finally come to an end. You lost the upper hand some time ago, but are just too stubborn to give in, or too skilled to lose that easily. Your sight has abandoned you, and with every moment you get weaker from the loss of blood. You only have enough strength for one last attack so you better make it count. You focus all your energy and leash an attack that rocks the pillars of heaven. The fatal blow you sustain has taken its toll as you fall in defeat. As your enemy stares down at, your, down at you he notices the smile on your face and can't help but wonder what did you do? Alright, those are your fates. Hopefully you've chosen well. Remember, choose heads or tails if you have a coin. Or if you have a die, choose one through six. Roll it to get a number one through six. If you don't, choose a number one through six. And, uh, you know, tell us what fate you received. And I uh, think that'll do it for this week's community, uh, three-part community question. And, uh, Join me next week as we uh, move on to a, another community question. <laughs> and uh, You can uh, check us out at gamesin.me. You can scroll down to our, uh, all the way down to the bottom of the page and uh, log into the community chat, talk to whoever's there. Go to our forums at uh, gamesin.me slash forum. And also go to uh, youtube.com slash games and me. Leave your responses there. Tell us what fate you were, was chosen for you or you've chosen and uh, whether you lived or died. You can also go to uh, blip.tv, search community questions, leave your responses there. And uh, that'll do it for the latest community questions and uh, good gaming everyone.